Why do we race across it? Do you want the long answer or the short answer? <laughs> so why do you race cyclocross? I'm good at it. <laughs> the coolest part for me is getting to race with a different group of people. Cyclocross season brings together the road guys and some of the mountain bikers, so it's like a big family out here. The fans, man. By far. Cross was like the best, the best combination of what made mountain biking fun for me, which was the challenge of doing it fast group racing it's very intense and it's over after only one hour so that's a that's a plus i enjoy all just the different aspects of it you know it's not the same terrain all the time i always found cross to have something that i wanted even if i didn't know what it was You know, being on the start line is a, uh, you're getting ready to launch, you're getting ready to, to blast off and, and uh, all hell's gonna break loose in 30 seconds. Don't make a mistake, you know? Don't make a mistake in that first 30 seconds. That's kind of the whole thing that I'm going through. You don't know when the gun's gonna go off. Everybody's very tense and you just wanna get off the line good and get your foot in the pedal. And you know, that can dictate a lot of the first part of the race, can make the beginning of the race a lot easier then if you have a, a slip pedal, you don't get your foot in right away, you get swarmed at the line. You're not going to win the race by getting the hole shot, but you know, if you slip a pedal or just miss shift and then you're back in 20th place and then you have, you don't have to waste a lot of energy making it up and the races are so competitive now that you need all the, all the energy you have. And so for me, it's just don't make a mistake. Find your pedal, shift, you know, follow wheels, stuff like that. Well, now it's up to me and that's, sometimes that's empowering, sometimes it's overwhelming, sometimes it's tough to, uh, it's tough to get away from the the magnitude of that but then you realize it's just a freaking bike race and it's like you know it's gonna be over in an hour like it's really not that hard Most people probably see me as a, a versatile racer. I do a lot of different sports. I do mountain bike, I do cyclocross, um, longer races, shorter races. I've raced on the road. So I feel like I'm kind of seen as an all around type of guy. I think I'm a pretty aggressive racer. I think I, um, I'm definitely not a tactical or I like to just really go out there and race and I want to race hard and I like to attack and I like to really stretch my legs out, you know? and. Uh, that's just, it, it's not something I try to do, it's just something that like I can't contain myself from doing, you know? Like it just feels good to go out there and stretch the legs out and, you know, see if you can put people under pressure. And I'd rather go out there, go, go down swinging than just lose a race, you know, and waiting for a sprint, so. What I'd like them to see is someone that never gives up and someone that, that, that pushes when, when things are at their hardest. You know, since I'm a mountain bike racer, I think they see me more as a determined, just kind of go to the front and push it. I try to employ tactics sometimes. The worse the weather and the, the poorer the conditions, that's when I seem to excel. I want to be seen as someone who's, who's trying to push where we are, where we're going to go. And I just want to be able to, to be someone associated with how the sport is going and how it's growing and where it's going to go from here. 